All right, hello. This is going to be a very quick introductory video on the last 187, and it may be the final dollar bill decode, okay? This 187 number, um, I kind of went on a quest for 187 numbers, um, largely based off of finding finding a couple of 187s in the dollar bill, okay? And the the final 187 number which I'm going to be looking at is August the 17th, okay? And it ties in super, super nicely to all the codes that we've been looking at in the dollar bill, okay? It links in really nicely, and there's a really nice little story that goes with this whole thing, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through the story right now, and that might spike your interest. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video after this one, build on that a little bit, and I'm going to also do some references back into back to the future because back to the future is plum loaded in fact back to the future was kind of this thing that got me started on this looking at the hoover dam um getting uh some kind of event at the hoover dam to symbolize the the returning of dave bowman the returning of odysseus um from the start of the odyssey which was 2001 okay when the the 11 which is the l even which is god yeah because god is the two the two legs that are even yeah okay he is the sorry to use the word he but he represents pure balance okay so the even being lost no 11 9 11 okay so that marks the beginning of the journey for Odysseus and what Odysseus is doing right now is Odysseus trying to get home back to God back to the 11 okay and so ay 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 so this so this 187 rebirth date now okay is is fast approaching and I'm going to explain how it works out with the dollar bill okay so if you've seen my other decodes this will make perfect sense if you don't know what the hell i'm talking about with all this stuff it's you know it's kind of the caveat of the video is to go back and you're probably going to need to rewatch um, some earlier videos and um otherwise i'm just going to sound like a crazy man um which i do anyway but i you know i sound really crazy um if you don't have the background knowledge already from my previous videos so we're looking at the dollar bill, we're looking at the, we're counting up berries and leaves, okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow the white rabbit, the bunny ears, okay, and we got 254 here, which is uh, 9, 11, okay, on this side, okay, and then, so we've got a starting point, which is 9, 11 right here, okay, and what we actually have is we actually have a reference in 9, 11. Okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to look at some basic symbolism here because this thing here, right? This kind of shield looking thing is also a downward arrow, okay? And that downward arrow is or represents it's like the like the the downward arrow uh I don't want to say it represents um the womb here. But what it is is the upside down man, okay? This thing here is the is the um if you like the obelisk that's pointing down right now, okay? And the and it's pointing down and that represents the man that's you know born into the world. Yeah, you come you come into the world upside down and the world is upside down to you, okay? It's not nothing's right, is it? Everything's backwards in the world as we see it right now. Okay, so that's what this, this is representing here. Okay, so this is representing man. Okay, and we ha also have the hangman symbolism there. The hangman symbolism. Sorry, um, I know that's difficult to comprehend for somebody that's just stumbling on this video, but for people that watch my stuff, this should be making perfect sense right now. Anyway, get rid of that for a second. And what we have, so we have man here. And then what we have over here, this O, okay, follow my cursor, this O is 
the vesica pisces is the is the place where we're able to balance both the the physical and the metaphysical the spiritual so this hole here this o the ho the holy the hole yeah that is the divine that's like god um if you like it's the it's the halo okay and what you know so this is the place where we're trying to get to right unfortunately <laughs> at the minute we are these two things are separated okay and this is at the start of the this is what happens at the start of the um of the odyssey right the start of the voyage is that man becomes separated from god okay there's a separation here okay and the thing that's separating you is this the united states of america yeah because the government that controls this thing is the government that controls you okay so this this is a fictional thing yeah this is a man-made entity right here the united states of america we don't have to get into uh, the corporate version of the government and all this other stuff that you, you may have looked at you know in the the corporate takeover of the government and all this stuff we don't have to get into any of that the whole idea of government is fictional having another man govern you is fictional right the only the only thing that should be governing you governing you is natural law okay the way that god wants you to be governed which is natural law anyway there's another thing up here that comes between us and god okay uh it's the federal reserve note this thing itself okay this thing comes between you know man man here and god yeah so there's a separation and there's also this separation here this is what this is this is the one right here and it's the doll okay and what is that yeah it's the idol it's the false idol that we're worshiping right now all of this this is the this is what's come between man yeah the idol the false worship of this thing this money oh dear it's a pretty good story keep keep up um so what's happening is we've got a jump during this um oh i don't know what you call it it's a halfway point where we're going to get to but there's a jump that we make okay and that jump is we look at these berries here and it's a 155 so we're going to make a 155 jump yeah and that there we go there's the 155 you could probably make isis out of that if you really wanted to and that jump takes us to 213 okay and 213 if you watch my other stuff 213 is not only the beginning right because let me show you my table real quick and this is really going to confuse people that haven't seen my stuff so please go back uh, a couple of videos back i've got a video on explaining this thing it's the chart that predicts the future the cross double cross of lorraine chart but this is the the numbers that we're concerned with which is lucas numbers and so the start um this is a 10 year cycle here okay because we're coming up to 10 okay and so it has to be doubled for the for the voyage of odysseus because that's a 20 year cycle okay and that's to do with jupiter coming back to saturn um and having those um conjunctions in the sky but we started in 2001 okay and we did that 155 jump which takes us halfway okay and then we need to do another jump to complete you know to get to the completion of the cycle okay so we've made that's the, like the halfway marker right there um i don't know if this makes sense let me go back to this so this is like the halfway marker right and so and actually it becomes a marker much more of a marker than just what i'm telling you now but i'm just trying to keep this simple okay so we've got the two um one three on the on the leaves and berries here and this is the 13th of february okay and it happens that <laughs> this dude is actually born right around that time um within a day within a couple of days of that date um in the old calendar anyway 
Um, and so what we've got going on is if this is halfway, we've not completed the cycle. And so in previous decodes, I had done another 155 day jump. Um, and it took me to one eight to one eight seven. And because if you do the gematria on Washington, it's a one eight seven, right? Just the basic English gematria. Um, and because one eight seven is associated with murder, death, kill, the idea of some part of you that has to die, the part of you that's addicted to the matrix has got to die, yeah, in order to get back to the the big O, right? And so, <laughs> you know. Obviously, that rang true for me that the, the idea of having because because nine eleven was the emergency, yeah, the emergence, yeah, being born into the matrix, right, which becomes an emergency because you're emerging into the sea. The sea is the 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 merchant system, right? <sighs> so it followed that we'd have another sort of number name some you know some kind of famous you know some a number that's linked tied to an idea of um death you know because that's the thing that has to die that system has to die and it's your own ego that builds that system yeah the ego's wants and desires are the, is the same that same ego is building the matrix and the matrix is feeding that thing and there's no there's no limitation on that yeah in nature god puts a limitation on what you can have all right he limits what you can have but in the matrix there is no limit that's why we're spiraling out spiraling out of control right now that's why everything is going crazy at an exponential rate because there's no control you know there's nobody putting any checks and balances in place so what we've got going on is we need to complete this cycle and so anyway the 155 got me looking into the 187 number okay and of course that last number there's been two numbers that have been quite significant the 18th of um july was the last number i was looking at and that also ties into um it also ties into the 29th um which is in which is in my table as well you know so we've got the 187 of July but we can also look in at the 29th because the 29th is the 718 in disguise if you like because 29 is the sum of these two and 2 and 9 is the sum of each one individually as well so it's kind of nice little it was kind of a nice hidden 187 number so I was you know the 18th of July I was looking at and then the 29th of July was also another good day because we also had that Diana reference with the white wedding and of course with the Billy Idol yeah the bill one dollar the Billy Idol um, song the white you know white wedding and of course Diana's wedding was the big white wedding um, and so again it ties in but is but it, maybe it turns out now that that is a reference to the actual day. You know, it's just another reference back to this idea of of marrying, remarrying the system, and then man being in control. Okay, um, and so we're going to look at another one eight seven number here in just a second. But th those were the numbers I was looking at previously. You know. Um, so let's go back to what was I on? Go back to this thing. So, of course, you know, there was some, there's some leaves and berries that I never took care of in my decodes before, and is a, and I've mentioned it before. There's five. I mean, I've talked about them, but I've not tied it into this cycle. Okay, and so what we have here is we have. Um, eight leaves and five berries and eight leaves and five berries okay and i talked about the 88 and 55 with these two okay but so oh my goodness i can't write with this new mouse but eight eight five and eight five here you know um 
Now, there's another 187 number, that which I just had said at the start of the video, which is the, the 17th of August, okay? Now, 85 days from this point here does not take you to the, um, the 17th of August. But, we've also got another number that's sitting right here, which is pretty, I mean, this is just, this will blow your mind now. Um, so with this 85 here, we've also got this 1 right here underneath, okay? And if we put a 1 here, okay, now things are going to start getting really interesting because if we do a 185 day jump from 213 over here, okay, that is going to take us to, yeah, the 17th of August. Oh my goodness. Okay, the 17th of August, right? So this is potentially the day, this is potentially the day, the 17th of August, when that event happens. Um, pretty interesting. <sighs> I just don't know what to say about it other than that. Well, it gets even more interesting, actually. So let's, okay, so th this is the day of rebirth, maybe. Okay, we've got another 85 here. Where is this going to take us, Dan? Well... Let's do this 85 day jump right now. And it takes us to, man, you're not going to believe this, but this takes us to the 10th, okay, of November. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me know. Let's think this. So the 10th of November, okay. We have, again, with the 10th of November, we have a triple one reference there, okay? The same as we have with 9-11, okay? So we have this triple one, the triple leg um, event, all right? Um, or triple leg or a completion of the triple leg. And the completion of the triple leg is this thing, yeah? Is the Holy Trinity, okay? That's the completion of the three legs that come together, okay? Anyway, I don't want that on there because I'm going to show you something that's even more interesting about this number here. Because this number shows up in one of my earlier deco folds, okay? So this takes us to 1011. And 1011 is, okay, 1011 is when this side here joins over onto this side here, okay? And so this comes over and joins here. Let me show you the fold, okay? And then I'll show you, um, and what we have to do, let's just remember that right here, this thing right now is a P, and it's also an O, and it's a 1, and this thing is a shield, it's also a, the phallus symbol, it's the phallus or phallic, well I don't know whatever way you want to say it, but anyway, it's the wiener, okay, and that re represents the physical side of reality, it represents physical man, mankind okay both men and women but our physical beings if you like and that thing right here is upside down remember but it also is an eye okay because it's going to form when these two come together it's going to form a pi of pi and well i'm going to show you what it does okay but you won't be able to see the pi very easily on this thing anyway so that's our sequence i'm not going to come back to this picture now um, because that's that's it pretty much done for the video but this 85 is taking us to 1011 and I'm going to show you the 1011 now and what that means okay and then we'll be done with the video okay so I want to I need to find something here hang on a second I need to find this okay do I want to save this uh, don't save it's fine okay so I need to let's enlarge this a little bit okay Okay, now, that's actually pretty good like that. Let's uh, get on a brush. Let's go on a little brush. Let's go on the biggest, yeah, we're on the biggest thing. And let's do, I guess, red again. Okay, is that all right over in the... I guess that's going to be all right like that. I didn't want to make it too big because it just goes all fuzzy. But here, we can see, so, if this thing was turned up the other way, Okay, and in fact, I probably could rotate that in a minute. Um, so let's just do the rotate. Hang on, let's rotate. 
rotate 90. Arch, I don't want to rotate 90. Do I want to rotate 180? Come on, get with the program, Dan. Now I've rotate. <laughs> you are a complete muppet for you. <laughs> rotate it another 90, will you? Ah, oh, this is going to make the video really long. I'll probably edit this back out, right? Okay. <laughs> back to where I started. Ah, oh, dear. Here we go. All right, here we go. So the first thing I want to show you about this is um, when these two things join together, okay, this is what we have, okay? Follow my cursor around. We have this thing here, this stick coming down here, this coming around, and then this is, okay, this. We have pi, all right? Pi is 3.14, okay? And it just so happens, so that's pi right there. Let me get rid of that. Undo, undo, undo that. Okay, so that says pi, right? And so if we flip this around now, okay, so when pi is completed, when the pi, yeah, and pi is all to do with circles, and so when this, when this circle, when the circle's completed, which is the cycle, and this is how nature balances things with a cycle, Okay, this is how, you know, a linear progression is balanced through a cycle, yeah? And that's why you get the spiral. And the spiral is, again, to all to do with the golden ratio. But, enough being said about that, this pi, yeah, pi has to do, the pi is complete now, yeah? Okay? The pi is together, right? The thing that was blocking that has been removed all that crud that was in between there has been removed okay all we've got is the one right here you see the one at the bottom here this is the phallus symbol again um which would be back behind here okay let's just draw it in oh dear it's not very drawn in very good okay and then what we have is that there okay that thing that represents physical man being back in charge again yeah the erect wiener all right okay it's the the eight one yeah elvis's birthday bowie the eight one okay the 18 yeah in the middle of the table the 18 this is man okay it's right on your your nose and your two eyes shooting into your mouth <laughs> you know it's dangling between your legs yeah, the one eight, okay, and the two lips. Boy, this stuff is just... And people think there's not a god, you know. People think this is just random stuff. I don't know. Okay, so we have that thing that's right there. And this is these two things are combined, yeah? All right, let's, you know... Because there's multiple meanings, you know. There's, you know, this thing changes a little bit here and there. But, um, okay, let's flip this thing round. Rotate. Let's do it right this time. 180. Okay. Because this is what it's all about. The 180. Yeah. The dartboard. The score. Okay. So I've rotated it around. What does it look like now? It looks like a 10. Okay. A 10 and an 11. Okay. And the 11th of November is the 314th day of the year is the Pi Day. Okay. The completion of Pi. Completion of the cycle. These two things have come together now. Okay, the the symbol of man again. This is the wiener again, and this is the O. Okay, this is the completion of sight the cycle. Yeah, the one has come back to God right here. The one is back with the holy, the holy hole. Yeah, the holy ho, ho. No, not the ho, but the ho. <sighs> the, the the holy hole. Okay. Okay, now that's where we've come back to. Yeah, that becomes the hoe, right, when we abuse that thing, right? Yeah? Do you get do you get all the symbolism here? When that thing becomes abused, yeah? When when man is controlled by his his urges for that thing, yeah? Rather than um looking to, you know, the correct balance with nature. Okay, so that's pretty much the, I mean, that has got to be um, the end of the video. And, of course, the hoover, yeah, 
the hoe, okay, will be over, okay? No more, no more hoe. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. No more hoe. Ah, oh, anyway, I think that's it. That's good enough for this one. Hopefully, that's explained some stuff. And we're really going to go into a few more little interesting jumps, especially with the references to Back to the Future. And there's a couple other things I want to put in. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Ho over, baby. Ho over. Okay. All right. I'll see you. All right. Cheers. Bye.